Hi guys, this is Luke from Axion Now coming at you with a Strixhaven mini pre-release. Um, so today, today what we're going to do is open some pre-release packs, we're going to build some decks, and we're going to play a best of three game uh, with me and Chris. Um, so with the pre-release packs, you've got your Witherbloom, Law Hold, Quandrix, Silver Quill, and Prismari. Um, and these are actually seeded, so you get one boost out of the six is going to be seeded for your college. Um, so what that means is you're going to get one of the special lands, you're going to get an on-colour rare, um, and all sorts of other on-colour goodies. Um, so let's let's get to the pack opening. So I've chosen Wither Bloom for my pack, and uh, Chris has chosen Law Hold. So kind of opposite ends of the spectrum. Come on, Bruce. All right, let's get going. So, as you can see, we've got the Wither Bloom with the lovely Wither Bloom art on the front. Let's open it up. Oh, I love the dice they've got for these with the college symbols on. You can see that just there. All right. So, here's the contents. I've got a little deck tech guide for anyone who's a bit new to the, to the limited format with some sealed. I've got my promo here. Got the Biblio Pets. This is a rare land. Might take a look at that. And go in any colour we want. Now here's my seeded pack. Right, let's start off with this. Let's see it wants to open. There we go. Right. Okie dokie. So here, we're starting off with the Witherbloom Pledge Mage. 5 mana 5-5, five, five. looks good in this format to be honest. It's a nice chunky boy and it's got some abilities to go with it. So that's a nice one. The Campus, there's a great little power creep on the classic common uh, tap land. Got a 4 mana tap for Scry 1, really nice. Pest Summoning, um, one of the better lessons. All the ones that make creatures are absolutely what we're looking for and this is going to go right into our colours. Unwilling Ingredient there. Um, a nice 1-1 one, one frog, more frogs for the frog deck. Um, we've got a troll warlock, novice the sector. Great bit of removal, that's 4 mana, destroy type creature or planeswalker. Um, but sorcery speed, a little bit of a downside, but can never go wrong with a good bit of removal. Um, got a nice learn card here, always looking for those. Great card here, blood researcher, whenever you gain life, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Um, so you've got your pests, when they die, a couple bit of life. Trigger this, make it bigger. Menace, great on that. Bayou Groff, the two mana 5-4. We will absolutely be playing this. This is one of my favourite cards. Um, turn one, play out your frog. Turn two, Bayou Groff. Turn two, 5-4. Easy. Um, Plum the Forbidden. Nice draw spell. Eye Witch, another one drop. Got Deadly Brew. This is quite nice. Lots of synergy with your sacrificing uh, for your Golgari colours. Oh, our first rare. Here we go. Gnarled Professor. That's a 4 mana 5 4. Trample with Learn. So, absolute powerhouse for some value there. Um, and just really all round solid card. We've got a couple of our pests here. Lovely Jubbly. Look at them little purple fellas. Um, and then we've got our MDFC um, helper card because there are MDFC cards in this set. So, that is our seeded pack. Let's move on to some of the normal boosters. So you get five normal boosters and your seeded pack. So it's replacing one of your draft boosters. Um, as opposed to usually you'll just get six, six draft boosters. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, starting off with some cards that are not in the Witherbloom colours. Um, and just to say, we do not have to play Witherbloom, um, Golgari here. But it's, I mean, heavily suggested with the with the seeded pack. Uh, but we, I imagine we will be playing at least one of those colours and splashing the other. Um, it's very unlikely that we'll be completely off colour. So with that in mind, let's get going. Okay, a couple of silver quill cards. Yeah, decent ones. Okay, the Kondrix tap land, that's really light. nice. Uh, we've got some red, yeah. Okay, oh, the, okay, this is one of my favourite cards, actually. Three mana, search low for a basic forest, put it onto the battlefield tap. So you've got a nice bit of ramp there, and then learn on the side, so just basically draw a card with the selection. Um, if you've got enough learn cards, this can be really powerful. We've got some nice stuff there, more frogs, always good. Study Break, this is a great uh, great learn spell. Two mana, tap up to two target creatures and learn. All good. 
Some nice wolf. Oh, another nice lesson. We've got the inkling summoning, making the 2 1 flying inklings. Um, onto our uncommons. Let's go. Mortality Spear. Okay, this is was second on Dom's um, top five limited list. And you can see why. I mean, four mana destroy target, non land permanent at instant speed. God damn. And it can cost less if you've gained life. So with the with the pests and all that going on and with the bloom, this is absolutely killer. Okay, we've got a first rare from our draft booster packs here. Um, it's a Prismari one. Um, exile the top X cards of your library. For each land, exile this way. Create a treasure. Okay. For each blue card, exile this way. Draw a card. For each red card, exile this way. It deals one damage to each opponent. Probably not for us if we're in the Wither Bloom, to be honest. And then we've got our first Mystical Archive card. You get one of these in every single pack. Um, so we've got Strategic plan Planning. Not one of the better ones. So that can just be put to the side there. On to the next pack. Okay. Starting up with a Law Hold card. Um, not one of my favourites, to be honest. It 5 mana, 4-4 four, four Vigilance Menace. Seems good, but... I don't know, I think I'd just be rather playing something else in the aggro decks at the top end. Uh, we've got some not great card there. Okay, Mouldering Karok. This is a nice glue card for the Witherbloom deck. Okay, I'm going to start going a bit quicker now so we can get through these. Okay, this is a nice card here. The 4 mana 4-3 creates a pest. Which is good value. You get two bodies out of it. One of them might gain you life later. Cut two bodies for the sacrifice synergies. Really nice. Uh, okay, so we've got one of our first colourless um, lesson here. Um, really good to be honest, being, having access to some of that removal um, in the lesson slot. So definitely something to look out for. Got some sideboard cards there. There we go, onto the uncommons. And our next rare is Strict Proctor. So that's a two mana one three flying. When it enters the battlefield, if it causes an ability to trigger, cancel that ability and let's control a phase two. Oh, no, whenever a permanent, sorry. Um, we've got a village rights as our mystical archive slot. Maybe if we've got some sacrifice synergies going on, this could be very nice. Uh, draw two is not something to be scoffed at. And we've got a fractal token. Okay, I'm organising these awfully, but oh well. Okay, on to the next. We've got three packs left. Okay. Okay, another blood researcher, just what we want to see. Some Prismari stuff. Biomathematician. These stack really well with each other. So if you get these in multiples, um, have an absolute army of fractals. It'd be excellent. We've got the Prismari Campus. Great card. Okay. Lash of Malice. Really nice black removal. Bit flexible as a combat trick as well. Push that extra bit of damage. Okay, ooh, we've got a rare lesson here. Okay, so you've got three mana. Look at the top six cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. The rest on the bottom of your library in a random order and you gain three. That's awesome. That's so good for a lesson. Really lovely to have that. Um, flexible card draw, top six. So in your limited deck, you've got 40 cards. That's You're going through nearly a tenth. It's incredible. Um, team Pennant, some nice artifacts. Riff apart, pretty good removal, probably not in our colours though. Test of talents. Oh, a mythic, here we go, hello. Um, we've got three mana, two, three flying, zero mana for an ability. You may cast target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard this turn. If that card doesn't target a creature you control, it costs eight more to cast this way. If that spell would be put into your graveyard, exile it instead, activate it once per turn. Okay, it's interesting. Um, it might. It doesn't really go with the Witherbloom synergies, but absolutely could be a splash if we end up with a lot of instants and sorceries. Um, there's not a lot in Witherbloom that's going to be targeting our own creatures outside of a few good combat tricks. So, yeah, we can see if we can put this in. Um, oh, and our first rare Mystical Archive. Not one we'll be playing. It's Grape Shot. Um, classic for any Storm players out there. Um, but, you know, it's cool to have it in the nicer showcase version. And then another Fractal Token. Okay, we've got two packs left. Okay, this is one of the worst cards in the set. Square up. Two mana, target creature has base power and toughness, 4-4 four, four, and turn to turn. Not good, do not play it. Um, 
go. More campuses, really good. Combat Professor. I mean, I'm sure Chris will be talking about this one, but this is one of my favourite monocoloured cards in the set. Another Bayou Groff. Love to see it. Two mana, five, four. Yes, please. Okay, we're on to our rare here. We've got four mana. Instant. You may pay two rather than play this spell's mana cost. If the two mana cost was paid... An opponent draws a card, exile target creature or planeswalker. So, it's two mana, exile target creature or planeswalker, and they draw a card, or four mana, just exile it. Excellent removal, absolutely love to see it. Good stuff. Oh my gosh, in the same pack as a Putrefy. Two excellent on-color removals, absolutely top of the range. We will be playing these, super good, love to see it. I actually played one of these in a draft on Arena last night, absolutely lovely. Ooh, and a... Foil Mystical Archive. On colour as well. It's Agonising Remorse. Quite good. Let's you choose any card in their hand. Or any non-land card in their hand. Exile it. Um, and you lose a life. So maybe we'll play this. Maybe we won't. Don't love it in Limited. But um, nice to have it. Foil Mystical Archive. Cool to see. Okay. And on to our last pack. Okay. What can we get in here? This is a great Quandrix card, four mana, draw two, and then ramp yourself, put a land on from your hand onto the battlefield. Really lovely. Simic, classic. Got some lands. So this is big play, two mana, target creature gets plus two, plus two, and gains reach until end of turn. And you put a counter on the creature. Another of those colourless uh, lessons, really nice. Into the uncommons here. It's a really nice one. Two mana as an additional cost to cast this spell. Sacrifice a creature. Create X one one pests um, for equal to the uh, X is equal to the sacrifice creature's power. Um, really nice if if you've got a creature that's being targeted by removal. Use this instant speed. Make a load of pests, and then they've got extra synergies with your other sacrifice outlets or the incremental gaining one life. Really nice. Okay, we've got another white rare. What is going on? It's meant to be a little hole a whip with a bloom box. Okay, so we've got the 3 mana 3-1 three, flyer. When it enters the battlefield, look at target opponent's hand. You may exile a non-land card from it. For as long as that card remains exiled, it's only may play it. A spell cast is where it costs 2 more to cast. Um, not one of my favourites, to be honest. I think you've got um, your Elite Hill Bonder. Um, does a bit of a better job of this, because it just gets rid of the card. I mean, obviously, it's selection, but <clears throat> yeah. Um, but, you know, 3 mana 3-1 three, flyer is not something to be scoffed at. And a Cultivate for our Mystical Archive slot. Lovely, lovely card. Absolutely, maybe help us splash something. Um, a bit of ramp in there. Really nice. Nice to see it. And we've got a foil. We've got Borog Befuddler. Another frog. Check it out. And Spirit. So that is all six of our pre-release packs for our Witherbloom kit. I want to get down to deck building. Um, and Chris is going to open up his Law Hole pack. Okay, so that's the deck built. Um, here we've got... A nice, I, I'm really pleased with it to be honest. A really lovely Witherbloom deck. Um, all sorts of stuff going on here. Um, probably my favourite bit of the deck is the two Bayou Groffs and the three One Drops. Um, all three One Drops kind of replace themselves when they die. So you've got the Eye Twitch that learns when it dies. And then two Unwilling Ingredients, which I can exile later from my graveyard for some card draw. Um, so I hope to see some turn two Bayou Groffs in, in the games coming up. Uh, we've also got some Blood Researchers with some Pest Generation. Um, so they're going to get really nice big menace creatures, um, which is great. I've also got a suite of learn cards and um, and lessons. So I've got four learn cards in the Eye Twitch, the Gnarled Professor, the Field Trip, and the Hunt for Specimens. Um, and then I've got five learn lessons. Sorry, um, we've got two colorless ones, um, kind of standard. They're not anything to shout about. But then we've got Pest Summoning, which is really great. That gives us some sacrifice bodies. Um, and a little bit of life gain if we want it. I've got the Inkling Summoning. Um, so it's actually a Silver Quill um, lesson, but because it's black, I can still play it. Um, so a little bit of a flyer, maybe good. Um, Basic Conjuration, which is our lovely rare lesson um, to search up for a creature and a little bit of random life gain tapped on the end, which is always good. Uh, I've got an excellent move removal suite. Really, really pleased with that. We've got the Mortality Spear. Um, 
possibly the best card in the set. Absolutely amazing. Um, four mana destroy target, non-land permanent. B Binding of the old god too. Um, can cost a bit less if I gain life, which there is a lot of life gain in this deck. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if I see that going for two mana at any point. We also from the Putrefy from a Mystical Archive. Um, absolutely premium removal. What is there to say about it? Every Golgari deck needs it. Um, Mage Hunter's Onslaught, destroy target creature, great. Baleful Mastery can be a nice cheap exile spell. Uh, we've also got the Deadly Brute. Each player sacrifices a creature. And if I sacrifice a creature, or a permanent, sorry, you may return another permanent from your graveyard to your hand. So if I've sacrificed off another creature earlier in the game, I can get it back. I can get back what I sacrificed. Uh, maybe a good removal spell. I can get back Putrefy, Mortality Spear. Uh, maybe one of the big boys, the Witherbloom Pledge Mage if it dies. Um, some really great synergies there. Uh, a Village Rites can sacrifice a pest, uh, get a couple cards from that, or sacrifice one of my one drops. A uh, Lash of Malice, super duper flexible. So you've got the kind of dead weight flexibility of minus two, um, but it's also a combat trigger, it's plus two, minus two, so you can get um, one of your creatures to trade up, uh, which is really cool about that. So yeah, I'm really pleased with the deck, uh, hoping to see it perform. Um, land, in land, terms of lands, we've got the, the Witherbloom Campus. Um, I wish I said before, great power creep. A um, little bit of scry attacked on that kind of means that the tap isn't so um, isn't such a push hold back. Um, yeah, so that's the deck. Uh, now you'll see Chris building his.